Bethany. Hi. Hi. So good to see you. How are you? you? I haven't seen Stephanie in a long time, but like when we're together, it's like no time has passed. I hope someone brought a compass in case we get lost. You can let loose with her and just laugh. Hey, baby. Hey. <laughs> and I need that right now. <laughs> Hello, how are you doing, Miss? Good, how are you? I'll have a glass of Pinot Grigio. Pinot Grigio, you go. Thank you. I honestly don't even know where to start, Stephanie. I don't know where I'm going right now. This is for the first time in my life. I feel like you're the same way, like moving back, moving to a new place. Heidi actually just helped me move in. Because I was like, let's do a girls' night. I know that she needs it. I get it. I feel like I've been kind of escaping them in London. But you know what? The reason why I wanted to move back to LA is because I was Spencer. That's why it's so hard for me to see and what hear that like, you guys have this right? turmoil and like, yeah. Because we were so close growing up. What do you think like started the wedge between you two? It's, it's been true. crazy for a long time. Win, 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 win. What are you crying about, Stephanie? What the f are you crying about? That's why you're not in my life, you crazy bitch. Because you come to barbecues and just start crying. Spencer seems like a different person from what I remember. Like, he is humbled and such a nice guy and funny. Audrina's actually known my brother longer than she's known me. I haven't seen this new side of Spencer. I don't know if he's changed, but I'm hopeful and I want to move on. I think all of us just kind of went off on our own in our own lives. Like, when I started dating my ex, I shut everyone out. I cut off a lot of friendships, and I cut off a lot of opportunities, all for this guy that treated me like shit. And I was so numb and isolated and so depressed, I lost over 20 pounds. Like, I felt stuck. I felt trapped. I felt like I had no one else. I had to make this work. Like, I can't even talk about it. I never imagined I would ever be divorced and being a single mom at 33 with a little girl. God, I'd never imagined that. It's still hard to grasp. <sighs> That's why we got married, is because I was pregnant. It's, it was trying to do the right thing, which now I know is not the right thing. I just wish someone had been there to tell Audrina that these aren't good choices. I'm never rushing into anything ever again. The only relationship I've ever been solid was when I was pregnant for a year. That was it. What do you mean? What about Justin? Justin Can and I... talk about Justin? Yeah! No, I want to hear about you. I don't want to talk about Justin. I love Justin. God, Justin. You guys will end up together. I don't know. You need to go after what you want. I know. Cheers to our in-home delicious dinner. See, we yes. can have fun. This is fun for me. I love being home. Gunner's here. I'm very happy with this. This is great for me. So Hyde was not as fun without you there, but I did have some fun. Yeah, good. I think marriage like is not good for Brody. Yeah, how is married life? Did he you said, say anything? Yeah, it must he well, said they like bicker so much now and the ring didn't change anything. Mm -hmm. I wish Brody acted like Frankie, because Frankie is so fun to party with. <laughs> Speaking of partying, don't forget Stephanie's welcome home party that Frankie's throwing. This is so new for me, leaving Gunner. Now I feel like I left him just like like a little bit and it's really hard for me to leave him and now I feel like everybody just wants me to leave him all the time. It's just so hard for me. I'm having a really hard time balancing having any kind of social life and being a mom. I feel like people don't understand what I'm going through and I don't even fully understand it myself so it's emotionally draining. I don't think we can not go. I think it'd be good for you and Gunner. What makes it more challenging for me is that I'm not excited to see Stephanie. It seems like every time she goes to London, she starts saying nasty and negative things about us, and I don't want to be part of it. If you don't want to be there the whole time, we'll figure it out. We go, we we'll go for five minutes. We just, you know, I think we gotta just be there so we don't have a problem with Stephanie. I'll go. Thank you for being so supportive. Oh, it's, it's been it's been so much fun. I am so excited to have more kids and just. It's just <laughs> It makes me feel alive. <gasps> uh, here goes Gunner. I'll be back.
Your wine may be gone when you no, get back. No, do not take my wine. Just saying. Then we'll have a real problem. You want some of this? Come on, let's go get a little bit of this. Come on. Come on, little sweet. Come on. Come on. Ooh, look at this. Ooh. Ooh. I have to know, what's it like sleeping in a car? In your driveway? First off, I didn't just randomly come home and decide to sleep in a car. I came home to a psychopath yelling and screaming at me because I came home at a certain time. My job is in a nightclub, DJing pretty much every single weekend. Sometimes, you know, the party of it, it's, it can be fun. You were a nightmare. You don't think that's like the rudest thing you could say? You know I hate when you say stuff like that. When she goes out with her girlfriends and stays out late, I condone that. I think it's fine. But if I do it, it can be a problem for her. So go figure. My question is this. What are you so angry about when I come home at a late hour? If you tell me that you're going to be back at 2 o'clock in the morning, mm -hmm. I wake up when I feel like it's later than that. And if you're not there and I look at my clock and it's later, then I freak out. And then I spend the whole time that you're not back. Babe, worrying, I'm getting anxiety. I'm wondering where you are. Think, like, you're giving me anxiety, please. Well, this okay, is... now you know how I felt all night last night. Because you I. You knew where I was. Come on. All I knew was that you went out Who after. Cares? Who cares? I do, because it makes me sleep badly. Next time, if I'm going to come back, but if I'm going to come back late, I'm trying to sleep. You don't need to come in and yell at me. Jimmy, I wasn't yelling at you. I just came in to wake you up and oh. let you know that you had to be up soon. You don't need to come and tell me I need to be up soon when I know I have to be up. But I'm okay. trying to get well, my little I'm bit of sorry. rest. I, I, I went to the truck to go sleep because I was terrified of you. What are we going to do when we have kids? What are we going to do? Well, I hope you won't be playing hide and go seek from your kids. Let's be honest here. I will be terrified when I have kids. Oh, I think you're going to like it more than you think. You lost your mind. While I don't have kids, I'm gonna pretty much do what I wanna do and live for myself as opposed to living for another human being. I think that that's why she wants to have kids so bad is because she wants me to change in that way. Uh, you know what I was thinking? Feel a little bit hungover. I was thinking uh, uh, some champagne. Would you like some? No, thank you. Well, I'm gonna have a little champagne, babe. Bye.